Hey, 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 this is BA and welcome to Luther Jensen Game Style Forecasting. What we're going to be taking a look at here is some very rare material I'm going to present to you. And we're going to compare that. Uh, we're going to see Jensen's uh, forecast in it. And we'll compare that to actual market activity to see how Mr. Jensen did. <clears throat> in another video, I told you that Luther Jensen uh, worked for W.D. Gann from the early 1930s until Gann's death in 1955. This guy is extremely important. He also wrote the book Astro Cycles and Speculative Markets. And no, I don't sell the book. <laughs> but uh, it took me 14 years ago. It took me a huge amount of time and effort to track this stuff down. I had two guys working for me. I call them trackers that actually tracked it down. And then there was three or four of us that went to go and retrieve the actual in information, which itself was, I, I could talk to you an hour about that journey. But anyway, um, Jensen wrote for the Astrological Bul Bulletina. Astrological Bulletina. And he did it from the early 1930s until about Gann's death in 1955. And it's very important material. Let's take a look at it. Uh, Jensen, it, it was a quarterly issue, so that's why it says first quarter of 1938. Astro Economics and Markets was uh, what Jensen wrote under. And he wrote a, a lot. Of, we're going to get down to his forecast uh, here in a bit. But you see that he wrote about a lot uh, uh, of different things. There's another element in the longer term pattern. It seems apparent that the United States is in a major inflationary cycle that will not run its course until a nine year period is passed. Presuming that the cycle began with gold devaluation in January 1934, probabilities of the explosive stage are dormant until after 1940. Okay. Now, what's like I, this is written in 1939. Okay. For early in 1939. He was right. You know what happened then? World War II. And that pushed everything into an inflationary cycle. So Jensen nails it. This work, the Astrological Bulletina, and, and his column in it, uh, is is phenomenal. And, you know, the GAN, a true seeker, a true GAN researcher, needs to know about these things. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you out there have never even heard of this. Why? And the reason for that is the GAN gurus out there, there's no money in selling this. I'm not selling this. There's no money in selling it. So they don't, you know, who gives a stuff about that? I want, I want to give you the super duper hydromatic express way to make a million dollars. Yeah, right. Um, so you're not going to hear about this stuff. You have to become a researcher to understand WD GAN. And as we're going to see in this, it's not just GAN that could do this. We've already did George Bayer. If you haven't seen George Bear's, uh, the video I made on Bear and his forecasting, you should. Okay. So, um, Jensen wrote for this. There's a lot, there's a lot of information in here. Okay. A lot of info, just it, it's packed. And let's go down to, uh, one of his forecasts here. I'm going to grab for you. And this is actually the first one. Um, or maybe it's not the first one. It's the first one I came across when I was looking for it. All right, here. Um, <clears throat> this is for 1939, okay? Uh, I want you to write down these dates. April 3rd, 7th, 17th, 29th, May 3rd, 15th, 18th, 22nd, 26th, and 31st. June 1st, 6th, 9th, 14th, 19th, 22nd, 24th, and 30th, okay? Here we are with the Dow for uh, 1939, which is the same year, <clears throat> same year we did for George Bear. Uh, the first pivot he's got is April 3rd. It could be the low here, April 4th, or a high on April 5th. I'm not sure. So we'll have to use the next point to start the uh, high-low, high rotation. Okay, here, down here, this is his next date is March, or March, April 7th. And this is... Uh, this is the sixth here, and this is the tenth here. So it went from a high here to a low here. Okay, so that starts that'll start our high low rotation. Now Jensen didn't put in high low high low like uh, Gann and Bayer did, uh, but as 
uh, we'll take a look at the rot uh, rotation here. You'll see that it, it does work here. Okay, he's got a high April 17th. Okay, right there. April 17th. You can see how how it looked around this line. See how that walked up it, then this came, opened up and bounced down and then up to the price. Okay, um, next is April 29. I've got a May 1 low. It's two days out, but it's definitely there. Okay, next is May 3rd, and I got a high on May 4th. Next point should be a low, and he's saying the 15th. I got one on the 17th. Uh, next, he's got 18th, which should be a high. I've got the 19th here and the 22nd, and it happened over the weekend, so it'd be a, the 22nd as the high, and you're four days off because of the weekend. He would have, if the weekend wouldn't have been there, he would have only been two days off. May 22nd is the next date for a low, May, and we get it May 23rd. It's probably a forecasted inversion. I haven't checked, but I would assume. May 26th is a high. We've got a high May 25th. Uh, May 31 he forecasted. And we've got a June 1 low here. Okay. Um, next he's got uh, June 1. It should probably be this June 2nd here. This is a very tight area. Most likely, this is an inversion, and that's why it happened in such a tight area. Okay, and go down to, he's got low on June 6th. I think it's on the 5th here. And some sometimes you do, you get areas that are just really, really tight like that. Okay, uh, next he's got a June 9th. Man, he nails that. Look at that. That's nice. You got to love that stuff. You get out of those tight areas and stuff. You can really get in the areas where you can judge them. It's good stuff, man. Right here. And you, you can see how these walked up this line. Okay. Uh, 14th should be a low. I got a low on the 16th here. Hmm. Okay. See how it cuts it here? It cuts it here, it cuts it here. We want to minimize that. Let's try this. Let's try this. Now it walks, it still cuts it here, but then it walks down. Boom. So if this, if this line going up is right, then we can then know the cycle pivot occurred here, and this will tell us what happened with this bar. He's got uh, June 19th, should be a high. And I've got June 20th. Now see what happened is once this once this points in this line's already here, and I'll I'll, I'll do a video. It, it may be in a while, but I'll do a video on exactly what this line is. But anyway, um, it opened up, it went up to resistance, and then it shot down, giving a false low. Cycle pivot lows here, and we we can tell that by it respects this line, okay? And then that bar just gets pushed down, and it still walks up until this point gets hit. Okay, and he's got another tight area we're going into June 20th. He's got uh, June 22nd should be a low right there on the 22nd. Very, very tight congested area. Okay, uh, 24th should be a high. I've got a high on the 23rd here. And then down to the 30th, and he nails that. He, he nails, he pretty much nails all the, I mean, these two are the, the good ones, and he nails them. Good job, Jensen. Um, so this one will go down to here. Okay. All right, so that's, that's good forecasting, man. His high-low, high rotation works. It's good. Um, 
I don't have any problem with it. So what this establishes, and kind of what the real point of this video is, is it's not just W.D. Gann. There was other men that replicated these methods. It wasn't just Gann doing some voodoo magic. It's replicable. That means that there's a system out there that will get you these results. You see what I'm saying? Very, very important stuff here. If you've gained insight from my video, subscribe so you can get the latest of my free market calls, forecasts, commentary, and teachings. Knowledge is priceless. Hey, this is BA reminding you, you can succeed. Take care. Bye-bye.